वेलकम टू लीडर आई एस एंड यशस इंस्टीट्यूट नबी मुंबई माइसेल प्रोफेसर सुहास सरगर टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी ऑल गोइंग टू लर्न द सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी चैप्टर फ्रॉम स्टेट बोर्ड ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टैंडर्ड टेन इंग्लिश मीडियम सब्जेक्ट्स साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट टू चैप्टर वन हिरिडिटी एंड इवोल्यूशन व्हाट वी ऑल गोइंग टू लर्न हिरिडिटी एंड हिरिडिटरी चेंजेस इवोल्यूशन डार्विन्स थियोरी ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन स्पीसीएशन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ट्रांसलेशन एंड ट्रांसलोकेशन इविडेंसेस ऑफ इवोल्यूशन लेमार्किजम ह्यूमन इवोल्यूशन एक्सेट्रा can you recall which component of the cellular nucleus of living organism carries hereditary characters what do we call to the process of transfer of physical and mental character from parent to the progeny which are the components of the dna molecules heredity and hereditary changes you know that here the dt is the transfer of the biological character from one generation to another via genes johann greg mendel is a pioneer of the modern genetics around the period of 1886 it took a long time for him to understand the conclusion of his research about the heredity in 1901 the reason behind the sudden changes were understood due to the mutational theory of hugo de rise meanwhile in 1902 walter and sutton observed the paired chromosomes in the cells of grasshoppers until then it was not known to everyone or anyone research started in the direction of finding the nature of genetic material when it was proved that the genes are carried via chromosomes through which 1944 the trio of the scientists Oswald Avery Maclean McCarthy and Colin McCloy proved that except viruses all living organisms have DNA as a genetic material In 1961 the French scientist Francois Jacob and the Jack Monod proposed a model for model of process of protein synthesis with the help of dna in bacterial cell it helped to uncover the genetic codes hidden in dna thereby the technique of recombinant dna technology emerged which has vast scope in the field of genetic engineering the science of heredity is useful for diagnosis treatment and prevention of hereditary disorders production of hybrid varieties of animals and plants and in industrial processes in which the microbes are used transcription translocation and translation can you tell few questions first sketch and explain the structure of dna and various types of rna second explain the meaning of genetic disorder and give name of some disorder with the help of rna the gene present in the form of dna participate in the functioning of cell and thereby control the structure and functioning of the body information about protein synthesis is stored in the dna and synthesis of appropriate proteins as per requirement is necessary for body these proteins are synthesized by dna through the rna this is called as a central dogma mrna is produced as per the sequence of nucleotide on dna only one of the two strands of dna is used in this process the sequence of nucleotide in mrna being produced is always complementary to the dna strand used for the synthesis besides there is a uracil in the rna instead of thymine of dna This process of RNA synthesis is called transcription. Dear listener, we are from Leader IS 
and Yashas Institute, Nabi Mumbai. Myself, Professor Suhas Sardar. C. The pictures of transcription. The mRNA form in a nucleus comes in cytoplasm. It brings in the coded message from DNA. The message contains the codes for amino acid. The codes for each amino acid consist of three nucleotides. It is called as a triplet codon. Dr. Harigovind Kurana, a scientist of Indian origin, has made an important contribution in discovery of triplet codons for 20 amino acids. For this work, he has been awarded with the Nobel Prize in 1968, along with the two other scientists. Each mRNA is made up of the thousands of triplet codons. As per the message on mRNA, amino acids are supplied by the tRNA. For this purpose, the tRNA has an anticodon having complementary sequence to the codon on mRNA. This is called as a translation. The amino acids brought in by a tRNA are bonded together by peptide bonds with the help of rRNA. During this process, the ribosome keeps on moving from one end of mRNA to other end by the distance of one triplet codon. This is called translocation. Such many chains come together to form complex proteins. And these proteins control various functions in the body of living organism and their appearance too. See the picture of translation and translocation. Also see the pictures of mutation. Living organism can produce a new individual like themselves due to genes only and some of those genes are transmitted to the next generation without any changes. Due to this, some of the characters of parents are transmitted to their offspring. However, sometimes a sudden change occurs in those genes. Sometimes any nucleotide of the genes changes to its position that causes a minor change which is nothing but mutation. Some mutations may be minor but some may be considerable. Example, mutation may cause the genetic disorder like sickle cell anemia. This is an everlasting process and it is one of the proof for the Darwin's theory of natural selection. Few questions. Can you recall? What is the function of appendix of our digestive system? Are you wisdom? Are our wisdom teeth really useful for chewing the food? Why did the huge animal like dinosaur become extinct? Why are the many species of animals and birds getting extinct? Evolution Evolution is a gradual change occurring in a living organism over a long duration. This is a very slow going process through which the development of organism is achieved. All the stages in changes occurred in various components ranging from stars and planets in a space to the biosphere present on the earth. Should be included in the study of evolution? Formation of new species due to changes in specific character of several generations of living organisms as a response to natural selection is called as evolution. 3.5 billion years ago, the life had been non-existent on the earth. At the beginning, there may have been only simple elements in the ocean on the earth and simple type of organic and inorganic compounds may have been formed from those. Complex compounds like proteins and nucleic acid may have formed over a long period from those simple compounds. Post-primitive type of cell may have been formed from the mixture of different types of organic and inorganic compounds. The number of those cells may have increased at the cost of the surrounding chemicals. There may have been some differences among those cells and according to the principle of natural selection. Some may have shown growth, good growth and some may have perished which could not adjust with the surrounding. In a box, internet is my friend. Collect the information from internet about Big Bang Theory related with the formation of star and the planet and present it in your class. 
in another box a peek into history the many philosophers and religious scholars have written their views about the formation of life there seems to be although thorough discussion over the formation of universe in various cultures like indian chinese roman greek etc various cultures have noted the different types of information about planets stars and panchamaha bhuta living organisms etc in the form of poetry stories and religious or the sacred books box clues at present the crores of species of plants and animals with a huge diversity regarding the shape and complexity are present on the earth animal diversity ranges from unicellular amoeba and paramoecia to the man and the giant pole the plant diversity consists of various species ranging from unicellular cholera to the huge ban- banyan tree the life exists on the earth everywhere from equator to both the poles organisms are present at all places like air water land rock etc humans have shown curiosity about the origin of life and the reason for such a great diversity in life present on earth since ancient period different theories about origin and evolution of life have been proposed till today of which the theory of gradual development of living organism is accepted theory of evolution according to the theory according to this theory the first living material that is protoplasm has been formed in ocean in a due course of time unicellular organism was formed gradually changes occurred in unicellular organism from which larger and more complex organism were formed all those changes were slow and gradual duration of all these changes is at most 300 crore years changes and development in living organism had been all round and multidimensional and this led to evolution of different types of organism hence this overall process is called as evolution which is organizational progressive development of plants and animals from the ancestor having different structural and functional organization is called evolution dear listeners we are from leader is and yashas institute navi mumbai myself professor suhas sargam these are the self explanatory audio video books evidences of evolution collective thinking upon all other above mentioned theories implies that evolution is overlasting process of changes however it needs to prove it needs the proof to prove it following are the various proofs available in support of the theories mentioned here or above first morphological evidence try this observe the following images and note the similarities between given animal images and the plant images see the pictures of morphological evidences various similarities like the structure of mouth position of the eyes structure of the nostril ear pinna and the thickly distributed hairs on body are seen in animals whereas the similarities in characters like leaf shape leaf venation leaf petiole etc occur in case of plants this indicates that there are the some similarities in those groups and hence it proves that their origin must be same and must have common ancestors second anatomical evidence see the picture of structures of bones of human hand cat's foreleg patagium of bat flipper of whale if you carefully observe the pictures there does not seem any superficial similarities between human hand cat foreleg flipper of whale and potagium of bat similarly use of each of these structure is a different in respect to animals however there is a similarity in the structure of bones and bony joints in organs of each of those animals this similarity indicates that 
those animals may have common ancestors can you tell few questions first which are the different organs in the body of organisms is each of the organs useful to organism in box use of icd collect the information of geological dating and present it in classroom box close third vestigial organs degenerated or underdeveloped useless organs of organism are called as vestigial organs in the living organism the sudden development of new tissues or organs for living in changing environment is not possible instead existing organs undergo the gradual changes mostly a specific structure in the body is useful under certain situation however same structure under different situation may become useless or even harmful such structure begins to degenerate under such situation as per the principle of natural selection it takes thousands of years for a structure to disappear such organs are seen in different phases of disappearance in different animals such organs though non functional in a certain organism it may be functional in other organisms that is it is not vestigial in other organisms appendix which is useless to human is a useful and fully functional organs in ruminants similarly the muscles of the carp pinna which are useless to human are useful in monkeys for movement of car ear pinna the various vestigial organs like tailbone coccyx wisdom teeth and the body hairs are present in body of the human being see the pictures of vestigial organs in humans in box use of icd finally find how the vestigial organ in certain animals are functional in other present the information in your class and send it to the others see the pictures of some fossils now for paleontological evidences a question may arise in your mind that which organism existed millions of years ago how can we tell this now this secret has been hidden in the earth large number of organism get buried due to disaster like flood earthquake volcano etc remnants and impressions of such organism remain preserved under the ground these are called as a fossil such as fossil is an important aspect of the study of evolution friends we are from leader is and yashas institute nabi mumbai maharashtra myself suhas sardar carbon consumption of animal and the plant stop after death and since then only the decaying process of c14 occurs continuously in case of dead bodies of plants and animal instead of remaining constant the ratio between c14 and c12 changes continuously as c12 is a non radioactive the time pass since the death of the plant or the animal can be calculated by measuring the radioactivity of c14 and the ratio of c14 to the c12 present in their body this is a carbon dating method it is used in paleontology and anthropology for determining the age of human fossils and manuscript once the age of fossil been determined by such technique it becomes easy to deduce the information about other erstwhile organism it seems that vertebrates have been slowly originated from invertebrates see the picture of structure of ground level and fossils in box introduction to the scientist carbon dating method is based upon the radioactive decay of naturally occurring c14 and it is developed by will willard lobby he has been awarded the nobel prize in 1960 for his inventions the age of the material determined by this method are published in the journal radio carbon connecting link observe the following pictures and discuss the characters observed duckbill platypus lungfish 
peripatus, peripatus. Some animals with special characteristics. Friends, we are from Leader IS and Yashas Institute, myself Professor Suhas Sarga. Some plants and animals show some morphological character by which they can be related to different groups. Hence, they are called as a connecting limb. Example, in peripatus, characters like segmented body, thin cuticle, and parapodia like organs are present. Similarly, these animals show tracheal respiration and open circulatory system similar to the arthropods. This indicates that peripatus is a connecting link between annelida and orthopoda. Similarly, the duck bill platypus lays egg like reptiles but show the relationship with the mammals too, due to the presence of mammary glands and hairs. Lungfish performs the respiration with the lungs irrespective of being a fish. These examples indicate that the mammals are evolved from reptiles and amphibians from fishes. Observe and discuss. See the picture of embryo during different stages. Carefully observe and st the stages of embryonic development of some animal shown in figure 1.10. Now 6. Embryological Evidences Comparative study of embryonic developmental stage of various vertebrates given in the picture shows that all embryos show extreme similarities during initial stages and those similarities decrease gradually. Similarities in initial stages include indicate the common origin of all these animals. Darwin's theory of natural selection. Charles Darwin had collected innumerable specimens of plants and animals and depending upon the observation of those specimens is he published the theory of natural selection which preaches the survival of the fetus. For this purpose the Darwin had published a book titled Origin of the Species. While explaining the concept the Darwin says that all the organisms reproductive reproduce prolifically. All organisms compete with each other in a life-threatening manner. In this competition, only those organisms sustain which show the modification of essential for winning the competition. However, besides these, natural selection also plays an important role because the nature selects only those organisms which are fit to live and the rest perish. Sustaining and selected organisms can perform reproduction and thereby give rise to the new species with their own specific character. Darwin's theory of natural selection was widely accepted for long duration. However, some objections were raised against the theory. Some of the main objections are natural selection is not only factor responsible for evolution. Darwin did not mention any explanation about useful and useless modification. There is no explanation about how changes and abrupt changes. Irrespective of all these silly objections, Darwin's work on evolution has been milestone. In a box, introduction to the scientist, Charles Robert Darwin, from 1809 to 1882. This English biologist proposed the theory of evolution. He showed that all the species of living organisms have been gradually evolved over a period of thousands of years from common ancestors. He proposed that the principle of natural selection is responsible for these evolution. Lamarckism Jean Baptiste Lamarck proposed that the morphological changes occurring in living organisms are responsible for evolution and the reason behind those morphological changes is activities or the laziness of that organism. He called this concept as a principle of use of disuse of organism, use or disuse of organs. Further, he said that the neck of giraffe has become too long due to browsing on leaves of all of tall plants by extending their neck for several generations. Similarly, the shoulders of the iron speed have become very strong due to the frequent hammering movements. 
brings up birds like ostrich and emu have become weak due to no use. Legs of the birds like swan and duck have become useful for swimming due to living in water and snake have lost their legs by modification in their body for burrowing habits. All these examples are types of the acquired characters and are transferred from one to another generation. This is called as a theory of inheritance of acquired character or Lamarckism. Introduction to scientists Jean Baptiste Lamarck. The Lamarck proposed that the activities of the organism are responsible for their evolution. This French naturalist proposed that each animal or the plant undergo some changes in its lifespan and those changes are transferred to the next generation and such changes occur in the next subsequent generation too. See the pictures of giraffe. Development of organs due to the specific activities or the degeneration due to or no use at all was widely accepted that the transfer of these those characters from generation to generation was rejected because it had very been verified many times that modification brought in us are not transferred to next generation and thereby Lamarck's theory was disapproved. The living organism can transfer the characters which it had required or acquired to the next generation. This is called ancestry of acquired characters. Dear listeners, these are the self-explanatory audio, video, book from Leader IS and Yashas Institute, Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra, myself, Professor Suhas Sarga. Speciation. Formation of new species of plants and animals is the effect of evolution. Species is the group of the organism that can produce a fertile individual through natural reproduction. Each species grows in a specific geographical conditions, their food, habitat, reproductive ability and the period is different. However, the genetic variation is responsible for formation of new species from earlier ones. Besides, geographical and reproductive changes are also responsible. Similarly, the geographical or reproductive isolation also leads to speciation. Human Evolution the biodiversity that is known today has been said to be formed from very simple unicellular organism due to evolution. In this evolution, origin of human evolution can be shown as per the picture given below. The last dinosaurs disappears approximately 7 crore years ago. At that time, the monkey-like animals are said to be evolved from some ancestors who were more or less similar to the modern lemu. Tell of the mon these monkey like animals of Africa is said to be disappeared about 4 crore years ago. They had developed due to the enlargement of the brain. Their hands were also improved and thus the ape-like animal were evolved. Meanwhile, these ape-like animals reach the south and the North East Asia and finally evolved into the gibbons. and the organ orangutan. Remaining ape-like animals stay in Africa and from them gorilla chimpanzee evolved about 2.5 crore years ago. Evolution of some of the 2 crore years old species of apes seems to be occurred in different ways. They had to use their hands more for eating food and other work. Journey of Human Sea Those apes started lie on lands as the forest started to decline. Due to the dry environment, their lemur, their lumbar bones developed in such a way that they started to stand in an erect posture in the grassland and thereby their hands become available to use any time. These first human-like animals with the erect postures which were usually their hands and evolved about the 2 crore years ago. The first record of human-like animal is with us 
in the form of ramapithecus ape from east africa afterwards these ape grown in grew up in a size and become more intelligent and thus the ape of the south africa evolved about 40 lakh years ago the morphology of these human like animal started to appear like to be members of genus homo and about the 20 lakh years ago and thus the skill human developed about 50 lakh years ago humans walking with a erect posture was evolved it may have existed in china and indonesia of asian continent see the picture of development of human brain evolution of the upright man continued in the direction of developing its brain for the period of about 1 lakh years and meanwhile it discovered the fire brain of the 50000 years old man had been sufficiently evolved to the extent that it could be considered as a members of the class wise man that is homo sapiens netherland man neanderthal man can be considered as the first example of wise man the crow magnon man evolved about 50000 years ago and afterward this evolution has been faster than earlier about 10000 years ago the wise man started to practice the agriculture it started to rear the cattle herd and establish the cities cultural development took place the art of writing was invented about 5000 years ago and thus the history had been started the modern sciences emerged about 400 years ago an industrial society was established about 200 years ago now we have reached at this stage until we are searching the details of the roots of human ancestry that's all about this chapters friends these are the self explanatory video of the state board of maharashtra standard 10 subject science and technology part 2 We are from Leader IS and Yashas Institute, Navi Mumbai. Myself, Professor Suhas Sargar. Thanks for watching. Wow.